Hi, I'm Tony Afton, the effects supervisor at The Mill London. And I'm Adam Joy, the visual effects supervisor at The Mill for the project uh, How Did the Hyena? So when the script for Hattie the Hyena landed on our desks for Amazon Prime Video, we knew we were going to have certain challenges uh, on our plate. First of all, creating a photo reel hyena. So for this commercial, we used Houdini for grooming Hattie the Hyena. We used Houdini for all of the look dev for Hattie the Hyena. We used the new muscle tools for the muscle simulation, the skin simulation. We used vellum tools in Houdini for the fur simulation. We used Houdini for shot assembly and we also used Houdini for lighting. We knew from the beginning of the project we were going to want to do a full muscle simulation on Hattie the Hyena. So we had the full bones, the muscles, the skin, uh, everything ready and we made sure uh, that there was no self intersections because that was super helpful on the sim stage. We used the new beta muscle tools from side effects and it was a, a really great experience actually. Side effects provided us with the T-Rex demo scene they were building up and we were able to, to quickly use that and adapt it to, to fit our hyena. So it was great to be able to get up and running so quickly. Uh, we found that the muscle tools themselves are very flexible. The way it works is you have a, a muscle simulation and on top of that you do your tissue, tissue simulation and on top of that you do your skin simulation. And where you have these three separate stages, you can actually work in between them, which is really helpful when you've got to do things like shot sculpting. So you don't have to go all the way back to the beginning. Uh, you can, for example, just kind of do a bit of shot sculpting on the result of your tissue simulation, feed that into your skin simulation, and it still all works and, and gives you a great result. It allows you to, to maintain real, real flexibility, which was, uh, which was brilliant. We also found that the tools felt, where they're all vellum based, they felt quite familiar and also they're quite responsive because they are vellum based. So it was great to be able to just kind of get up and running with them and, and be able to get a feel for things uh, rather than needing to sort of sit there and, and read the manual for hours. We could just kind of start going, jumping in, dialing numbers, and playing with things. I, I think generally though, we were just really impressed that we were managing to get these sorts of results in such a quick time span. When it came to creating Hattie the hyena, um, you know, there were certain characteristics where we had to make her likeable but also photo real at the same time. Obviously one of the key components to that is the fur groom, which in this instance was probably the, the first time that we've done that process entirely within Houdini. We found our sort of grooming generalists were able to, to access sort of attribute transferring from meshes to fur to generate randomizations and clumping. Just the procedural nature of it was crucial to being able to get the desired look that we wanted. I think having it in Houdini and it becoming more of a, a generalist tool is going to help us at no end. Uh, opening it up to just more artists who know Houdini. I think next we'd be really keen to, to build upon the work we've done here. In general though, just really impressed at how quickly we were able to get such a, such a high quality turnaround in such a short span of time.